in terms of professional growth, I think the UFP has really helped me channel what I knew, what I didn't know into a very structured and systematic way of looking at urban issues and at urban planning. In terms of personal growth, I think uh, it's it's been eye-opening in some ways to uh, look at my own relationship with cities, uh, with people and all the surrounding I think the diversity really helped in uh, working with people with whom we never saw eye to eye. That was one of the best learning experiences. The interdisciplinary structure of the UFP ensured that uh, apart from looking at the urban holistically, it can also be thought of in the ways of the systems approach. The structure of the UFP actually flows and not just flows but actually builds one on the other and that's a very interesting and uh, special characteristic of the structure. Uh, the Commons really lays the groundwork to all the kinds of projects and uh, practica that, that come after the Commons and uh, it kind of has a really nice build up drawing in from previous ways uh, of learning to trying to see how much more you can do than what has been taught. At the same time, the structure of the UFP, although it is brief, it gives a sufficient in-depth introduction to a lot of subjects and topics that can be further, uh, you know, continued on a, on a personal basis. Uh, however, I, I would really like that if uh, whatever topics have been covered, if they could have spent a slightly longer duration uh, and just been in that space and held it for a while. The UFP was my first experience of uh, living for over six months in a city where I was not on holiday. And as a result of that, the UFP and what it meant to live in a city like Bangalore are deeply tied together. Uh, the learnings across all the modules of the commons uh, had really changed the way in which I would look at cities. Uh, the program also tied together a lot of loose ends across multiple disciplines that the commons took, uh, spoke about. And the program also had sufficient flexibility and space to follow and explore a few of the things that, that were catching my, my thoughts or my thinking. Regarding the field-based components, I think the practica was a good learning experience because it was in a team where, once again, nobody saw eye to eye with each other. Uh, so that was a great learning experience on putting aside differences and bringing something meaningful to the table. Uh, the exposure trips were probably one of the best highlights of, of the entire UFP. The kind of people we met, the places we visited, they were really well structured and well thought of to give a really good grasp of what we were learning. Something that is empowering in a way that we can do it ourselves from now on. The masterclasses were uh, fabulous. They presented a kind of learning that, that happened you know, outside of the classroom. There were stories, there were personal stories, and the kind of experiences that were shared with us were really moving in some ways, and it brought in a very different dimension to the regular class or the field-based uh, modules that we did. I could only uh, refer to Aro's masterclass where he traced the narrative of the development of China and other countries from the global south, like South Africa. And it really reflected the kind of work they have done, the work he has done, the work IHS has done in that field for so many decades, actually. Office Hours to me has been special because I've uh, had the privilege of uh, talking to multiple faculties over over the few months and uh, the fact that they have made that kind of time to understand each and every fellow. Uh, 
and the kinds of discussions that took place were beyond the scope of the classes and that was very helpful because there are always questions that remain unanswered after classes and in office hours they, they it's a very nice way to not just find answers to them but to continue that quest and keep looking and keep exploring after the ufp i would like to continue working in the field of the urban uh in the space of research in the space of policy and in the space of uh practice as well